Hey everyone, Travis Robertson, real estate coach, CEO, and founder of Robertson Coaching International, where we help agents just like you create businesses that support your life, not businesses that run your life. And today, I wanna to talk to you about the seven keys for being a successful real estate agent. You see, there's probably no question that I get asked more by real estate professionals than how do I be successful in this business? You see, most agents make around $35,000, $40,000 a year. I'm sorry, but that is not enough money to support the life you want and provide for your family. So I wanna tell you the seven keys for being more successful in this business. Number one is you need to treat this like a business. You are a CEO, this is your company, and it's time to act like it. Real estate is not something you can be successful at if you're just part-time. You need to commit to it full-time and invest the resources and the energy into making this work for you. Number two, you've gotta have a written business plan. As the CEO of your business, it's imperative that you plan out what it is that you're gonna to do to be successful. And if you don't have a plan, all you're doing is you're waking up every day and wishing and hoping and praying that it's gonna work out for you and it doesn't work that way. If you've got a plan, what it's gonna do is it's gonna focus you your team, the resources, the money, and the time that you're spending into the right activities that are gonna generate the best results for you. Number three, and this is huge, you guys, you've got to stick to a daily schedule. Too many agents get in this going, wow, I can set my own schedule, I can set my own hours, this is gonna be great. I can start when I want, I can end the day when I want, and all that's going to lead to is frustration. You've gotta act like a regular, normal business, and you've gotta be your own worst boss. You've gotta set starting times and ending times, and you've gotta have business hours where you're in the office no later than 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock, on the phones, making the dials, doing the things you have to do to generate your business. If you don't act like it's a business with a regular schedule, you're not gonna be successful. And number four, you've gotta pick up the phone. Too many agents have what I like to call phone avoidance syndrome. They're doing everything they can to not pick up the phone, not make the calls, not call the past clients, the sphere of influence, the people that can ultimately be responsible for generating business. They don't call leads back, they don't follow up with anybody, and as a result, they starve. And I'm sorry, starving is not a fun way to live your life. You've gotta pick up the phone, you've gotta make the dials, and you've gotta have those conversations that are ultimately gonna lead you to the money that you wanna make. Number five, you've got to get involved in your local community. You see, when you're in your community, you're engaging with people around things that they care about, whether that's coaching a little league team or, or being involved in the parks and recreation system or you know, getting involved in serving on community boards and community organizations or homeowners associations. Whatever it is, you need to meet people where they are and care about the things that they care about. And the more involved in your local community you can get, the better. You can't just turn on online leads. You can't just work your past clients in your sphere of influence. You've always got to be meeting new people, always got to be out engaging with them around the things that they care about, what better way than getting involved in your local community. Number six, you've got to invest in your ongoing education and ongoing training. You can never stop learning, you guys. You've always got to realize that this industry is changing so rapidly that if you're not keeping up to date on your skills, on what's happening in the marketplace, on ways you can better connect with the consumer or the people that you're trying to serve, you're gonna be left behind. So invest in new training classes, invest in going to, to seminars and conferences, and invest in coaching, Whatever it is you need to do to stay ahead of the competition, you've got to spend the money on. And number seven, don't get hung up on shiny objects. Look, there's always gonna be something else to buy, always gonna be something else to, to invest your time or your resources or really waste your time and your resources into, and I don't want you to do that. Just because there's some new fancy gadget or shiny uh, social network or new app that comes out doesn't mean you need to spend all of your time chasing that shiny object. I want you to focus on just those few things that matter, that actually generate the business and let everything else go to hell in a handbasket because those are the things that are gonna waste your time, waste your energy and waste your resources. All right, so there you have it, guys. Seven tips for being a successful real estate agent in today's market. Look, there's a lot more we could have covered and we just don't have the time, so if you have any additional questions, leave a comment below. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe. I think it's up there in the left, count, my left, your right, because we've got more videos like this coming out. If you enjoyed it, please do let us know. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, you guys. I'm sorry, but that is not enough money to support your life and to... I'm sorry, but that's not enough to support... in seeing it grow and seeing it. It's time to start treating it just as... Number one...
on the back side. That's terrible. Blech. I'll get into this. All right. Come up with other stupid cliches.